Which contract DLC vehicle in GTA 5 Online are you waiting for next? Like, what is the, the car that you cannot wait for? Let me know in the comments because we have eight cars still that need to re be released in GTA 5 Online. Jackknife Finnegan coming at you once again with another GTA 5 Online video. If you are new, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and ding those bells so you don't miss any GTA 5 Online content. All right, so we got five cars from Legendary. Now, this information that I, I will be providing will be coming from a guy on Twitter named Classic GTA. Let's get to it. We have five cars on Legendary Motorsports, and the one that I'm super excited about is the Overflood Zeno. It's a supercar. The estimated cost is $2,820,000. The second one, the Fister Comet S2 uh, Cabrio, that is a sports car, estimated cost $1,797,000. The third one, Nagasaki Shinobi, which is a motorcycle, estimated cost $2,480,500. The fourth one, Western Reaver, which is another motorcycle, and the estimated cost is $1.9 million. Now, the fifth one and the last one on Legendary Motorsports is the Gallivanter Baller ST. It's an SUV, and the estimated cost is $890,000. So that is the cheapest one on Legendary Motorsports that will get released. Out of that list, which one are you excited about? I'm not going to lie. The Xeno looks awesome. The Comet looks dope. The, the I mean, honestly, I, I can't wait to drive all of them, but my favorite has to be the Zeno. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, now we're moving on to Southern San Andreas. We got the Mammoth Patriot. It's a mil spec off road. Estimated cost one million seven hundred ten thousand dollars. The seventh car is the Obey I Wagon. It's an SUV. Estimated cost one million seven hundred twenty thousand dollars. And the last car that is on the um, the DLC list is the, the Classy Granger 3600LX, another SUV, estimated cost $1,380,000. So out of this um, setup of cars, we got a, a decent set. We got uh, three cars, we got two motorcycles, we got four SUVs, we got one off-road. That's awesome. I think that's really cool. I'm really excited for the upcoming weeks in GTA 5 Online to see what these cars are going to drive like and what they're really going to look like in-game. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you are new, drop a sub and ding those bells so you don't miss any GTA 5 Online content. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace!